I first met Joanna Sternberg at a bluegrass jam in New York City, and she was very involved in the New York City jam scene, so I'd see her all over town. And I was very intrigued by her as a person, even just her unique way of being and demeanor, and I always wanted to know more about who was behind that. And she, of course, had really amazing musical abilities and singing, and she had studied bass and composition at the New School in New York City. And a lot of people consider her a musical genius in her own right. And she just soars through traditional jazz and modern jazz and bluegrass and country and all different genres of music. And we ended up being good friends in the times that I would stay in New York. And she'd invite me to come along and sit in on a lot of her gigs around town. And she usually had like three or four gigs a day and be hauling her upright bass through the subways and elevators and escalators to get it all over town. And she works really, really hard and had worked hard for years to just connect with all these people in the music world and get to play with all kinds of people. And we'd stay out late playing music and get donuts at some 24 hour diner and then go draw and color in her room in Midtown Manhattan because she also really likes doing visual art. And I was really inspired by these casual music videos she'd make just of herself playing her original music in her room or in her house. And she has this really vulnerable, personal songwriting style where she talks about her struggles with a drug addiction and self-esteem and mental health. And I hadn't really done many expositions of my original music before seeing her do this a number of years ago. And it inspired me to just sit down and make a casual little video instead of having to have some big production that I was going to share with the world. And that made a really big difference with how I connect to people who hear my music, is to just be able to make it and do it authentically wherever you are at the moment. I'm going to do a song of hers called For You, which she seems to do kind of slightly different chord progression every time she does it. It's mostly the same, but she'll add a bunch of chords, just maybe depending on her mood or something. So I think it can be kind of open to interpretation how many times you want to change around. So this is my interpretation of the moment of Joanna Sternberg's song, For You. <laughs>